Welcome back to another The Killer Nacho Wi-Fi battle, my friends. This is a battle against a new challenger, Grise Guten, uh 31 Probably not. That's how, how that's pronounced, but... Uh, so, apologies for that, but hey, try my best. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, this is going to be a standard match, so uh, let's get into it. So, there are the teams. Um, he is bringing quite a few uh, really potent offensive threats, including... Um, is Tapu Lele, which, uh, I have three Pokemon weak to Psychic, uh, so that's not really that good. I'm gonna hopefully try to mitigate the damage, um, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, Scarf Tapu Lele, if that is indeed Scarf, is going to be really, really, uh, problematic. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and lead with my Credilly. He leads with his, um, Landorus, so that's kinda whatever. Um, I'm not entirely sure how much damage his Landorus could do. Obviously, Credilly's more of a special wall. He ends up going for a U-turn. It is super effective, and it does decent damage. I thought at, by that damage it might be banded, but um, it's actually not, so I guess I just uh, I have less uh, defense investment than I thought I did on this Cradilly. But um, I was just going for the Toxic, and he ends up going out into his um, Ferrothorn, which obviously absorbs that. And um, now I'm just going to go ahead and set up the Stealth Rocks, as he knocks off my Leftovers, which isn't fantastic. And um, here I'm like, if he has Gyro Ball, that would be super effective, but I'm not very fast either, so let's just try to go to the Recover to get some HP back. He ends up trying to predict the switch, going for the Leech Seeds, so that's a pretty excellent, uh, you know, turn for me, because I just get some free health back. Anyway, I'm going to go into my Buzz Wall now, and uh, he just switches it up, goes for the Spikes, uh, thinking that maybe I wouldn't switch out Cordelia again, but I do. And, uh, yeah, he doesn't want to stay in and obviously take a Drain Punch, so he goes out into this Toxapex. I decide to predict the Toxapex, go for the Earthquake. Knowing that he has his Toxapex is another big problem for my team because a lot of my Pokemon can't get through its defenses. But I'm able to take it out here with my, um, with a crit. So I feel uh, kind of bad about that, but not really because being get rid of that Toxapex is huge for me because I really had very few things that could counter that thing. So um, taking it out one foul swoop is just amazing and it gets rid of his pretty much strongest defensive Pokemon. So uh, that's pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out. Obviously I'm locked into Earthquake. It's actually a Choice Scarf. Buzzwall, so I'm just going to go out into my Cradilly again. He's just going to wisely U-turn, does some crippling damage to my Cradilly, and uh, in comes uh, Tapu Lele, which, like I said, don't really have a whole lot for. And while Cradilly is a special um, tank, I'm not going to be able to take a Psychic from a freaking Tapu Lele in the uh, Psychic terrain, but I really have no choice. I, I can't afford to do anything, um, because even Latios would probably get 2 AKO'd, although my Latios is Scarf, so I would outspeed it. I don't have anything really to hurt him, though. Um, because my only two attacking moves are um, Psychic and Dragon, so I'm just going to go for a Psy Shock. I figured it would do decent damage in the uh, Psychic Terrain, so I just do that. Actually, does it even get affected by... It might not even get boosted by Psychic Terrain, actually, because uh, Latios isn't grounded. Um, so maybe that was a, a dumb idea. But in comes his um, Ferrothorn again, and I'm like, I'm just going to go to Mega Pinsir. He just goes for the knockoff. Obviously, it's not going to be able to knock anything off, being that I am a, can't knock off Mega Stones. And I'm just going to go ahead and Mega Evolve, and he surprises me staying in here. Um, I just decided just to go for the close combat, so that ends up working out for me. But because he's a max defense Ferrothorn, he actually lives as close combat. I'm like, wait, what? Who lives a close, a super effective close combat from a, you know, beat stick like Mega Pinsir? Um, so yeah, that sucks, and he's just going to go ahead and set up his Leech Seeds on me, and that's... um. Actually, not the worst thing he could have done. If he had Gyro Ball, maybe he doesn't even have Gyro Ball, because he hasn't used it this entire match. So, um, yeah. Probably not the uh, worst thing that could have happened, because I was afraid I was going to get Gyro Ball and just murdered. Anyway, so um, he's going to go ahead and switch out back into his Landorus. I think I just switch it up going for a return. He does get the Intimidate, though, and uh, Landorus is a pretty bulky Pokemon. As you can see, this is not choice to Landorus, because he is going to be carrying the Leftover, so I know it's a, probably more of a bulky variety. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and switch out. I do not want to lose Mega Pinsir. Um, he doesn't have Stealth Rock set up, so I don't have to really worry about that, at least not yet. So I'm just going to go into my Buzz Wall. I do have Ice Punch, so I uh, can just go for that. And Ice Punch will hit the uh, incoming Tapu Lele, okay, if he does decide to switch into that. Um, and even ki Or even kill the, uh, you know, Ferrothorn. So, yeah, he's just going to go back into his Ferrothorn. It is low enough HP that even with its max defenses, it's not going to be able to live an unstabbed Ice Punch either. So, um, yeah, just going to go ahead and die. And uh, that's pretty cool. I get the Beast Boost. Unfortunately, um, he's just going to go back and attack a little lay here, which I don't know what to do, honestly. It's it's, And he's actually going to bluff this pretty hard. Um, but um, I'm like, well, it has to be Scarf, right? I have to switch out. But I end up staying... I wasn't going to switch out, because I really don't want to sack another one of my Pokemon. 
And then it gets revealed here that this thing is Choice Specs, because I'm a Choice Car Fuzz while I'm able to outspeed, and uh, I do a massive amount of damage to that Ice Punch. He was trying to bluff the Scarf there, and uh, he just uh, wasn't able to. Um, mainly because I didn't have anything to switch out. I mean, the only way I have to really get around this Tapu Lele is to go into Latios, who is a Scarfer, can, you know, maybe outspeed it. So that's literally the only thing I have. So, uh, yeah, that ends up being crucial because I get some key damage there on the Tapu Lele. And now I'm just going to go into my own Tox effects against this, um, this, uh, Keldeo, not Keldeo, this Kartana. And, uh, he's just going to go in and switch out. So he's not going to switch up his move. He did a lot of damage with that opening, uh, knockoff. But, um, he is, I believe, a Scarf Kartana, he said. So I'm just going to just go for the skull. He goes into Landorus. He ends up living, unfortunately. And I can switch out here because I do have a Pokemon, um, well, I do, well, I decided to switch out here, uh, because I wanted to get the Regenerator boost, and I, looking at my team, looking at the Regenerator's Pokemon, rather, I don't really need Gengar for anything. He doesn't really match up one one or one against any of his Pokemon, so I'm like, I guess I can sack this to an Earthquake, but he ends up just going for the Stealth Rush, which is a good play. It kills, effectively kills my Mega Pinsir, so that's good for him. Um, although I think I do have a way to get rid of the, uh, Stealth Rex. I have Defog on my Latio, so I could potentially get rid of it. So he's gonna go into his Tapu Lele, it's just gonna die. Uh, so that's pretty cool, and he's just gonna go right into his Sharpedo, which obviously is a late-game sweeper. And I'm like, well, I can't allow him to get off a, you know, two, um, speed boosts. He ends up trying to go for the Crunch instead of the Protect this turn, thinking I would switch, but really there's no reason for me to switch. Like I said, I do have Latia, sorry, La Scarf Latios, so which can outspeed. Mega Sharpedo at plus one, but not plus two, so I make the play. I just I was expecting just a sack Gengar, honestly. And he comes in here and he does some serious work. He goes into his um Kartana, does not kill Gengar, and yeah, I just went I just went into Gengar to sack it off to you know Landorus. I decided just to sack it to the you know Sharpedo because I didn't want to give Sharpedo, you know, uh plus two speed, because if I if he would have went for protect on the turn I switched, he would have been able to protect again for another speed. Um but it ends up just uh, clearing out the remainder of the Pokemon on my opponent's team, so I'll take that any day. Anyway, that was a uh, nice game there, Magnus, a.k.a. Uh, Gre Grease Gutton 31 Today's question of the day is going to be, what is your favorite Pokemon region that uh, has been, you know, in the games, or I guess even the anime, too, if you want to include the, uh, what is it, the uh, filler regions? But um, as for me, it's, I mean, Kanto is has a weird design, but it, it's always going to have, like, it, it really is weird if you think about it. Um, it doesn't really look realistic. But it's always going to, you know, have that nostalgia factor for me. So leave a comment about that and see you guys again next time. Later.